Hello creators and welcome to Vectory. In this tutorial, we will show you the main elements for building your own configurators with floating UIs and hotspots. This is a really effective way to create engagement, promote special product features, or showcase customizable components. Let's start. First item on the list is a hotspot for a material switcher. Add it by clicking on the hotspot option in the top menu. Hotspots behave like 3D objects. They can be placed where they are needed by clicking and dragging the gizmo. If you like to adjust its position click and drag the gizmo arrows. The material switcher allows us to change the material of an object in the floating UI. To make the material switcher work, you will need to have an object with multiple materials. Add additional materials by clicking plus icon in material settings. To add a floating UI to the scene you will need to select it from the drop down menu. Go to the floating UI and add a material switcher controller that is under the UI elements. From the source drop-down menu choose the prepared object. It is possible to have multiple color switchers for different objects or parts in the scene. Let's add titles to the UI. Add a title by adding a text element in the floating UI menu. Type the text into the field below. There are four different type styles. Choose between title, subtitle, label, or paragraph. In this case, let's select the subtitle option. Set order of elements by clicking and dragging. To connect a hotspot with a floating UI select the UI and set relative to setting to interactions. Select the hotspot and under the interaction setting find a material switcher event. Next on the list is the object switcher. The first step is to add it to your scene. Go to the top drop down menu and select it. It will appear in the project window. Add a new object by importing it or add it through workspaces menu. To switch between two different models they both have to be assigned to the same object switcher. You can do this with a simple drag and drop function. Duplicate the layer and remove the parts that should be hidden or changed in the object switcher. To add a floating UI to the scene you will need to select it from the drop-down menu. To add the object switcher to your floating UI, go to the floating UI elements menu located in the properties menu. As a source select the object switcher. You can add multiple object switchers to your floating UI.
Add a new hotspot for driver description. With the gizmo, adjust the position of the hotspot. Create a new floating UI with an image and with text. Add an image element and upload it. Add the text element and select the title option. Type the text into the field below. Now add an additional text element and set it to paragraph. Set floating UI to relative to interactions. Select the hotspot and in Interactions menu choose Driver Description Event. You can even get creative with this one. In the Properties menu it is possible to set a custom image or Lottie file animation for the hotspot and adjust its size. Now edit the object switcher floating UI. Add an image, a title, a description and a divider. Set order of elements by clicking and dragging. Last thing on the list are the buttons. In the UI elements select the button option to create one. Pick a light or a dark mode. In the field below, write the button text description. To turn the button into a link, just paste a link in the field below. That should do it. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This scene is one of the free sample projects. Use it as a sandbox to discover all of the features and functions. Have fun creating.